Hello everybody. Today I want to show you in this video a part uh, of our scientific activities where we need to collect hornets and we need to collect alive colonies of hornets to bring them to the laboratory to perform our, uh, our work, our scientific activities. So I will show you an example uh, to collect a colony and you will see how we perform the job. The first part of the work is to collect the entire colony of hornets, so the nest with all hornets alive. So the first step is to close the entrance of the nest and like this all the hornets inside the nest stay inside the nest and they don't go out. The second step is to try to cut the part between the nest and the roof. And like this, we can collect the nest inside the bucket or a bag. It depends from the size of the, of the nest. So sometimes it's very easy to, to cut the, the nest and to collect the nest. And sometimes, like in this example, it is a little bit more difficult. In the same time, you can imagine that all the uh, hornets, the workers, which are outside from the, from the nest, they attack the people, the scientists, uh, who try to collect the colony. So it is very important to, to have protective clauses to protect people against the, the hornet workers. And be careful, the hornet, or Vespa rutina is a small hornet, of course, but whatever the, the species is very dangerous. So one time then the, the nest is collected in the bucket. The second part of the work is to collect all the workers which fly all around the area where the nest was located. And for this purpose, we use a classical net to collect all the workers of the hornet. So, of course, we can imagine something. something. Sometimes it could be relatively long to perform the job and to collect all the workers. But we can stay uh, in this area for one hour, for example, to collect all the workers. And the interest of, the, of this job is that we can collect all the workers, the queen, sometimes the males, and the genes, and they are all alive. And like this, we can bring them to the lab to, uh, to work for, for example, behavioral studies, or genetics, or chemical communications, etc. And we can work with all these hornets, which can live for several days in the labs. Each time with the net, we are able to collect between 10 or sometimes 20 or 30 different workers. And we transfer all these individuals in empty bottles. And after we can go back to the lab and all individuals uh, are transferred after in cages. So, Thanks to this job, we can collate all the hornets we need for our scientific studies. Of course, if you compare with a professional who have to destroy a colony with a pesticide, the professional need to stay for some minutes or less than one hour to perform the job. But us, we can stay for one hour or two hours to collate all the, the hornets.